Right, well, hello everyone and welcome back. So, today, well, this morning, we'll do a Baldur's Gate stream. About two and a half hours today, and we'll do two and a half hours in the afternoon. After lunch. So, yeah, let's just continue. But before we do that, we need to, um. I've definitely seen that up. Glad you and Carla are all. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm yeah, let's happy see to what help. we have. Oh, that's still a good weapon, so we won't buy that. What's that? 712. So, so we've got 7 to 20 weapons, so we need to find anything that's better than that. 6 to 15. Any good armor? Seventeen, seventeen, fifteen, sixteen. Hmm. Shield wise plus two. I can give that to, um, which is at 76. I can give that to Shadow Heart. Because it gives a saving throw of plus one. Well, actually, hold on. We need to do Barton. If you know that's better, yeah. Um that's four hundred. Um No, not off in that. I'll be here if you need anything. Else. Need anything? I can sense some. Smell it if you find it. Bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Best weapon is a four to fifteen. Okay, what have we got better than that? Give her five to fourteen.
Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's buy that for. I'll be here if you need anything else. Okay. Soldier. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Alright. Don't better. waste a step. Or I'm a dead man walking. Magic won't hold out the darkness we forever. All? Not as long as we can put up a fight with not. Perimeter's clear, ma'am. Good. We'll leave soon. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Talk. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh. My. God. To your very good health. <laughs> Smell the wine first. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> so, let's do cloth grass. You know more of the herb than I do, it seems. Except for how it tastes, perhaps. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's just be honest with her. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Of course you can. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Yeah, sounds like necromancy at play. It seems likely, which means he isn't working alone. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. 
Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Um. Yeah, go for that last one. There is only one outcome that interests me. Killing Gatherick Thorm and ensuring that it sticks this time. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Yeah, let's do it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are number two. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. Yeah, yeah. Before you go, there's somebody else you should meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Okay. Isabel's in her room upstairs. Yeah, no. Before we do, let's save. Not from there, but say about there or there. I don't know. Go. Well, right, so we're up to that and the save then.
I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Um. Let me let's go for that one. But yeah, but we'll get to run fast. Small in. We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. Thank you. Good luck. And may the Moon Maiden protect you. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. No. <sighs> Pathetic. The Absolute sees all, you fool. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <sighs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Right, we want to, um... You'll 
make excellent fertilizer. Yes, do that. Your penance will be paid now. Patrick wants her alive. Good. Tell you what we can do while we're here. Do this. What we got for? Let's go for the two.
I can't use it on that because of Isabel. That was close. Here comes Mama Cole. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Where is she? Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. 
But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Hmm. I mean, did tell us why I wanted you captured, but why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out, now that we have you. I hope I won't have to. Yeah, okay. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. Thank you.